All right, cool clip here. Hassal, let's play this in full first. Cool, cool, cool. Bring down that sound a bit. So as the character comes down here, this is the point of, I'd say impact, but it's the landing point here with the foot. So what I would do, I would, instead of pointing down this way and making it look like it's kind of, not sliding, it's kind of like a 2D card going over, I think I would have the feet out this way. So they're kind of anticipating that spot. Just to give it, give it that kind of, that kind of line there. Because it has a bit of a down, 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 pop over to over there and maybe even have the feet come in first just as like an ease into the appearance even if that will be spacing wise wrong um it just feels like the spacing from here to here is, is small and from here to here where nothing is there just a little picky thing at the beginning and then as the character lands i'll probably also push the shoulders just up a bit more and even maybe the hammer it's tricky was the hammer is you know He's strong, but it's a heavier. You could have an offset where that arm is higher versus the hammer, potentially. But I would just go a bit higher here, mainly because, boom, on this. Then I would bring in the shoulders, just a bit delayed, into that impact. Not that it's like a full land. It's a land hop. But it feels a bit, we're here, and then it comes down, gets into that pose, and then that's it. Where it feels just like a clean rotation versus... A bit more of a, you want to feel the body parts kind of compress and overlap. Cool finger poses too. I think that's okay. I would probably tweak them a little bit here. They're a bit evenly spaced out. And then you might as well bring that arm out here for silhouette. So it's not, the thumb is crossing here, but it's a bit of a tangent through all of this. And then we cut into that. So just that for readability. I will bring out that arm. I do like all those strap animation. That's all cool. And you got cool roll on that side of the foot. It's really good detail. I just kind of picky notes that I'm seeing here. And it cuts well across here. And then as you go out, this feels a bit relaxed to me in terms of that. Like this. Is, ah! So it'll go out even potentially with fingers. Ah, just a bit more tense. I feel like this is a different emotion than here. Kind of pushing that a bit more. Even that, even though it's a nicely pose that finger um you know hand position i would just kind of watch out for that and that that's in real time there's always you know the difference between you watch this in real time and it's all very cool then you go wow it's also a bit down 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 whoa suddenly like that in terms of an arc and i think we could just have one more frame where it's a bit lower a bit lower and then come back up just maybe smooth it out a bit again it's not too shabby in real time, but it could be something. Like you might argue it adds to that full explosiveness because there's that sudden change. But I feel like to me, it would be potentially a nice swing down with that one arm and then lead into the other swing of that. I think it would be worth a, uh, a try to see how it feels. And I do like that he has a little bounce back. It's a lot of energy coming forward. And I feel like that could also be... It's almost like this leg stops it a bit too soon. Like he's going into... Like he has all that anticipation, that, the leading with the shoulder. But then we're here. And I feel like we could almost push this where, you know, it's about here and head is here. I know it's, it's a... It will change the timing of how long it's going to be over that one leg and then come back. It totally can come back into hops. But I feel like... It's almost like we don't want to move that leg and it compresses too much. Uh, me personally, I would go a bit, a bit further. But this is all cool. Into that, I like all this. And then here. Not that that's again, that's not wrong. And I like the silhouette and that hand. It's nice and simplified, but I wonder if that could be a wading with that hand. So it gets a bit of a harsher. Boom! hit back, so it's more like boom, back like that. Again, this is not wrong, it's just different, where it's just a softer 
pull back because he anticipates it sooner. Again, I know, I was curious what that would feel. But one thing I would do is when he does this and when he goes back, it might even open up the fingers or close them. Or it's something where, not close them, but um, like he's like this and then he goes, almost open them because he sees it's coming. Anticipate that back by opening the fingers first and then go back to really make sure that grip is there because it starts to curl already there. And I would, I would open the fingers and delay a bit and then in that section through there, you would almost feel and see the fingers close in. Good stuff in the strap. Yeah, this is all picky. I'm, I'm picking the shots because it looks really cool. This would be kind of a couple of things I would I would potentially tweak. Even here, right before it goes back, a slight change in the facial expression. Even if you want to relax a bit or get a bit more serious because it's about to come in. So like a little anticipation or preparation for uh, this. <clears throat> and then into the, the same main... The main thing here is that we don't have pupils, clearly, right? So you can't do darts and thought process, but it feels like he's just going, huh, huh, what? Into this. And it would be cool to add something where, again, we can't do eye darts, but maybe a slight relaxation in the eyebrows and potentially maybe like a dart or two in the head. It's kind of, huh, huh. Like it'll, it'll, it's almost like your eye darts are now in the head doing this. So we... We have a slight read on the face that he sees something, processing something, and then that's the final result because of it. And then I will probably not have that second drop in the shoulders, personally, just because it's <clears throat> it's going back here, breathing, and then it would be more of like a like almost an inhale hold or an exhale wait, just, uh, or it's anything tense that would lead to. The thought process, if that makes sense. Like it's more physical breathing and then it stops because it's, wait, what? <gasps> and then goes into like that and that. I think that would be picky. I do love that look of that render, I gotta say. And that is that. Very cool shot. It's gonna be my subjective two cents. And that is that. Thanks.